our solution for it is a solution that analyzes and improves the vulnerability in mobile accessibility. Organization and companies that provide mobile services are still conducting inspection manually to improve accessibility, uh, which take a lot of time and cost. Uh, our solution is an automated and cloud-based solution that reduces the time and cost by more than 50 times. Um, modern society is an information society. Information society is a society where differences in information consumption determine the gap in life. In particular, with the rapid development of mobile devices, uh, many people are consuming information through smartphones. However, a lack of access to smart devices and application creates a digital divide in which persons with a disability or those with age-related disability are discriminated against the information consumption. This problem of digital divide has deepened the imbalance due to the non-face-to-face -face environment caused by COVID-19. Now, the problem of quality of life to survivor has become serious. 4F is a solution to address the digital divide among the SDGs targeted by the UN uh, and improve, improve, improving mobile accessibility for organization and business operating mobile apps helps them facilitate faster improvement in cost. Yes, uh, our plan, future plan, uh, I will tell you in three broad category. Uh, first of all, we plan to upgrade our POEA to the next generation solution that by further strengthening big data and artificial intelligence. Compared to traditional manual methods and basic tools, the FOIA is still the most advanced mobile accessibility solution. Um, however, some qualitative analysis is still being done manually through our experts. Our company has been working on introducing big data and artificial intelligence into the solution since 2019. Next year, uh, we plan to provide the next generation version that can automate all parts through artificial intelligence. Uh, we plan to develop accessibility standard for emerging technology. Currently, ICT boosts a remarkable development speed. Compared to the developing technology, the progress of the underlying system is somewhat slow. And in particular, standard-related accessibility are not keeping up with the face of various emerging technology industries, such as um, IoT, smart city, and smart home. This will soon lead to an imbalance in which the information vulnerable, including persons with a disability or those with age-related disability, will not be able to utilize advanced the information and communication technology, and the information gap will widen further. Uh, in order to bridge this gap, I believe this is important to develop global, global accessibility standards at the face of technological development. Uh, since uh, 2016, uh, we have been involved in developing the international accessibility standards concerning emerging technology in the ITUT study group 20, Internet of Things, Smart City and Community study groups. We plan to develop various accessibility standards that can respond to emerging ICT where interconnection and interoperation are possible. Uh, and we plan to carry out various activity with the United Nations to improve global mobile accessibility. Our solution, POEA, has been used by ASTA, an IT regional standardization forum of the Asia Pacific since uh, 2017 as a solution to investigate the status of mobile accessibility in the Asian Pacific region. Uh, we investigated the status of the mobile accessibility 
in rapidly developing Asia countries, identifying current problems through improvements in the future and provide the basic data to bridge the information gap in Asia. In the future, we will support the developing countries who are carrying out various activities to reduce the digital divide within the United Nations. Uh, first, I think even small companies should now grow to target the global market. It has become easy to obtain a lot of information, and we are facing an era of infinite competition in which boundaries and markets between countries continue online. In an era when you have to compete with all companies around the world, even SMEs are no exception. SMEs have many limitations compared to large companies. Uh, that's why SME must focus on what they do best to, to make region to survive in the market. Yeah. However, if the market is not large enough, it will be difficult to promote corporate growth. Even if it is an SME, I think it is the most fundamental direction to promote the company's growth while taking advantage of its best strengths if it aims for the global market. Now we already have to compete in the global market. Yeah. Second, SME must share their goals and activity pursuing social value. I think the meaning of an existence of the company should be able to pursue social values and should be away from simply pursuing profit. Uh, companies can be seen as the best tool to make a society a better direction with their member. This tool company allows you to think and solve problems in society, uh, contribute to the income and cons consumption of many people through employment, and developing the ecosystem of society and countries through profit creation. Despite the various net functions of the company, it has turned into an extreme and selfish tool for pursuing profit and has caused a widening gap between the rich and the poor. But now we recognize that it is ruining our future. With the rapid increase in the importance of ESG, environment, social, and governance, along with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, SDG, pursuing corporate social value is now emerging as an important issue for the world to pursue. Although we are a small company, we are constantly striving to pursue the great social value of reserving the global digital divide. Uh, once again, I would like to thank you, IT, for giving us this big award. Uh, this award is very meaningful to us. I think reserving the global digital divide is the most important problem in the information age. I think it's important to solve this problem and create a world where information consumption is not discriminated against and I'm doing this as my lifelong job. However, the market view of a company is that improve access to company that improve access to information was very pessimistic. In particular, services and businesses for persons with disability and those with age-related disability have become less important in the market. And it is common to see them as very bad area in terms of generating profits. In addition, there was a bad per conceived, they conceived the notion that company do business for persons with disability and those with age related disability. In other words, in, in other words, there were cases where our business was distorted with a gaze that seems to use a person with a disability and those with age related disability for corporate profit activity. This seems to be more often treated relatively poorly than company that consistently do business for the social disadvantage than companies that 
generate a profit and donate money with other business. I think this eventually lead to the reason why we can secure accumulate data steadily for the social underprivileged groups such as a person with a disability and those with age-related disability. This atmosphere creates a problem that does not represent a specialized social enterprise. This award is an award that evaluates global social venture companies' business direction, uh, value, and business charm. So this award, we believe that many people will emphasize with the social issue, resolution, and value that we have claimed even though we are a small company, as our company has been evaluated for its solution business among with its long-term business direction to resolve the digital divide. Now, I think not only company that solve a social problem, but also all the companies should grow as social ventures. And I'm happy that the UN can help grow us further by partnering with these goals and EPO. Thank you very much.